So this... This is a game. This is a fantasy RPG. Uh, that was developed for the 3DS by level 5. So it's got all of that RPG goodness that you'd want in it. But there are so many classes that you can pick from to play as. And you'll never guess what one of them is. We're going to quickly just create a character here. Because you don't really get to change much about them anyway. So We're going to become an accountant. Exactly. You nailed it. You nailed it. Uh... I don't really care. What did you, uh, what were you shopping for? You must be off today, are you, Todd? Pretty dope. Fisher, Tone, an accountant. Uh, oh my god, can you imagine? Uh, what kind of hair are we gonna go with here? Looks good to me. Bowl cut, yeah, you think the same as me? Pink bowl cut. Um. Let's uh <laughs> Yes. Let's go. Oh cool, those are the uh hype train emotes that you guys got. Nice. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to be streaming, Todd, until 11 o'clock tonight, so I, I, won't, I won't be able to make it, unfortunately. Gumball Head? Should we name this character Gumball as well? Try as you might, you are not Microplier. No, that is true. That is true. We're going to go with that, though. We're going to go... We're going to go Elf Ears as well. Do we want to... Do we want to make it so that we can... See our ears? Or, no. Never mind. Yeah. What voice do we want? I feel like I want to go cheeky. Wild? That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Hump! <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, let me introduce you to Gumball, our new best pal. Um, in sticking with traditions on this channel as well, this very well could be the next like long form game that we play. Gumball, is that good? Or do we just want to name him Gum? Gum Gum. <laughs> Gum gum. Uh, my first Animal Crossing character looked like this. Oh my God, Sassy! I had a I had an Animal Crossing character that looked like this as well. Gammy. I see great minds think alike. Gammy. Yeah, John John's gonna be playing Sea of Thieves for a while. Uh, I I assume. I don't know if he actually is gonna be around for Sea of Thieves or not. But we'll see. Gammy with, what about Gammy with like a little, a cheeky little star sign at the end? It's kind of hoping for like a little heart, like a little, little, little kiss. Nah, at the end. Hi, I'm Gammy. Nah, <laughs> you know? Gammy X. Okay, no, we'll just, we're just Gammy. Choose the life you'd like to play as. Will do. You can become a paladin. You can become a mercenary. You can become a hunter. You can become a wizard. How about a miner? Or a woodcutter? There's also a cook. You can be an alchemist. You can be a tailor. How about a carpenter? Or a blacksmith? But no. What we're going to go with today is an angler. We're going to become an angler. Uh, and I think everything else is good. So there's a lot of reading in this game, yeah? So I don't think I'm going to read everything word for word. I'm just going to try to brush past some stuff. So forgive me for that. 
<clears throat> this game is cute AF. Uh, this is for the 3DS, so you'd have to acquire it by via other means. But there's a brand new Fantasy Life coming out this year for the Switch. I'm so excited. They released it, uh, I think, earlier this year is when they announced it. So that's why we're playing this today, because there's a new one coming out this year. And I'm so freaking excited, because this game was so much fun to play. I'm a wizard. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? Reveria. It is a land of peace, magic, and dreams. I used to look down on Reveria from the clouds, but now I look up to that same sky. The moon lives behind the dream-filled haze of night. Reverians refer to the moon as Lunaris. With the, when, the, when the curtain of shadows falls, Lunaris bathes all of Reveria in pools of its shimmering silver light. Sness drunk phrases it, play it any way you can. With an unspoken wink, wink. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I, you should try this. It's definitely one of my favorite games. Uh, by level five, it's so different because you can play through the whole story as a fisherman. You don't need attack spells and stuff. It's it's so good. At the break of dawn, a call will go out for a new hero, a hero who now tosses and turns in an uneasy dream. This hero. We'll choose between the sword and the wand. Perhaps this hero will select the needle over the axe, or the rod over the bow. A hero may forge legendary weapons, wield an epic blade, or brew magical potions. The choices are many. Perhaps this hero will sow, or saw. Or perhaps this hero will sow and saw while on a seesaw. Ah! Sorry. <clears throat> I thought that was kind of funny. All this grand speech weighs on me after a while. Anyway... I think I see the first light of sunrise. Let's find out if our hero is ready to awaken. It's time for your story to begin. How's the audio, by the way? Can you hear the game good enough? Does it need to go up a bit? Oh, my stars. It's looking a little quiet to me. Tools. Configure. Audio. I'm on your TV while I clean. Oh my goodness. That's a big TV too. Holy shit. Okay, I increased it by 10, but I'm going to drop it back down by 5. That should be all right. Okay. Oh, my stars, are you okay? What happened? What's going on up here? Should I call for someone? <laughs> I was dozing downstairs when I heard an awful ruckus up here. Are you hurt? I'm sorry, I just came barging in, but I thought maybe one of those thing one of those falling stones crashed into my roof. But it looks like everything is okay. Did you fall out of bed? I bet you were having an intense dream. Too bad my face isn't on screen. It is. Look at how handsome I am. Aww. Uh, I don't remember. I guess we were dreaming. I just had a funny dream you fell out of bed and bumped your noggin. Tee hee. It was only funny because I see that you're okay now, of course. Congratulations, by the way. I heard you finally chose a life for yourself. How exciting. Must be nice. Have you checked the mailbox? I don't think you got your letter from the king yet. Not that I peeked. I don't mean to be nosy. It just kind of goes with the life of being a landlady, I suppose. Pop outside and check the mailbox, dearie. Will do. Your wardrobe. But you don't need to use that right now, do you? No, good point. That's fair. Ah. The music. <laughs> Very good tunes in this one. Over here, dearie. It's right here in the mailbox. I saw your royal seal there on, an en on the envelope. Uh, okay. Okay. Check your mail frequently. Everybody make sure to check your mail. Dear Gammy, once you've received your license, I would request your presence at the Royal Court. King Eric of Castile. I can't make you, no. That's true. There's literally no way for me to force you to check your mail. It's just a, I, I highly recommend you do so, you know. 
What's everybody got going on today? What's everybody up to? Letter from the king marks the beginning of your new life. This is all so exciting. A fantasy life, maybe? <clears throat> I need to get a hold of myself, and you need to get a license before you report to the king. How do I do that? Pop into the guild office and pick up your license before you make your way to the castle. The guild office is just over there. You should be able to make your way that far without getting lost, but I'll mark it on your map just in case. That that was Becker's to me <laughs> yesterday during Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's just over there. I'm sure you won't get lost, but just to be sure, I'm going to mark it on your map for you, which I appreciate because I had a lot of trouble getting around last night for some reason. <laughs> Uh, are you sure? You seem nervous, or maybe it's just me. I'm so excited for you. Take my uh, take a piece of candy. No, I insist. It would help you keep you, keep you calm in front of the king. We got some Pam's candy. Sassy, that's a great question. I'm I'm glad you reminded me. One of the one of the incentives was the snack that smiles back, and I actually didn't pick up anything for myself to eat for breakfast today. So I'm gonna go grab one of those bags of goldfish that I grabbed and start snacking on some of those. It's Pamdy. Oh my god, Pam's candy, Pamdy. I could also have a bowl of cereal too, but I, I'm just gonna grab some some goldfish. It's the snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off. What about you, Sassy? What do you have for breakfast? What do you got going on? Cereal? What kind of cereal do you have, Amber? What's your... Uh, I think we've had the cereal discussion before, but what kind of cereal is your favorite? Is your go-to? Uh, okay. Up to eight items in our pouch. The king won't wait all day, you know. Don't forget to stop at the guild office first. Sounds good to me. Eggs and toast and something? Oh, that sounds pretty good. I've got eggs there as well. Eggs are so good, man. Oh. Off-brand Fruit Loops. Not bad. Nice and cheap. Cheap, but still satisfying. Really want to order McDonald's for a treat, but it's not in the... Nah, no, that's fair. McDonald's for a treat is always good. Especially when it's breakfast, McDonald's. Oh my god. Get some of them hotcakes flowing. Now I'm on some goldfish. Um, yeah. Oh, hi, Mel. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, we are still going to do the poll for food later as well. That one's not so bad. Um. Hello there. Hello there. How do I... Am I going to have to click? Yes. Okay. So there is going to be some form of touch screen involved in this. You guys can't see the bottom screen, but... Um, it's just a map. But that's also how I access my pouch. How's Mel today? What's Mel having for breakfast? Well, laddie, you sure did take your sweet time getting here, eh? You're a gammy, right? Here's your novice license. Don't lose it. I don't have to do all the don't want to have to do all the paperwork again. Look at that. We're we've an, we're an angler now. Zero stars. We've got our angler license. My hot water tank went today and sprung a leak. I may not do the do this do the steam. Oh, stream. Waiting for Robbie's dad to get back in town to take a look at it. Yeah, absolutely. No, no worries, no worries. Just uh, keep me updated. That's not until tomorrow morning anyway. So just just let me know. Totally understandable. That's a lot going on. That's a lot going on. Goodness. At least it, like, didn't cause 
Is there a lot of damage? I, I, I shouldn't assume that there's no damage. Um, okay, each life, blah, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Looks fine? Okay, well, that's good at least. Life rough. No, no, don't, don't feel bad about the stream at all, my goodness. Whenever anything happens, IRL. It's fine. It's totally fine. Get out of my way! I don't want any trouble, just let me fly by here. I got a better idea, little butterfly. How's about we play a game? This is a game called You Ain't Going Anyways. Just leave me alone. Sounds like trouble outside in the square. It's about the way of it these days. Ah. Look at these little kingmen. It's better to wait anyway. Absolutely, yeah. I, uh, hot water boilers and stuff like that are, can be quite dangerous sometimes. So, better to have someone who understands what's going on to, to have a look at it. For sure. What's going on out here? Ah. Now, don't worry. We won't hurt you much. Please, just let me go. Think you could just flutter away after what you said. What did I say? I don't remember now, but I think it was insulting. I was only responding to your little comment about putting me in a display case. That wasn't very nice. I'm not just some regular old butterfly you could turn into a brooch or a hat pin. You probably shouldn't give us such ideas. We are quite aware of how special a talking butterfly is. We're going to be eating good tonight. What the fuck? You can't eat... You Don't eat the talking butterfly. They're high in trans fats. Not healthy. Had a very funny sound come out of me when I went to get my bath, but it's all fine. Oh, no. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all good. You're going to be fine. Robbie's dad will come take care of it, and then by Monday, it'll all be good again. You can't do that. Hey, you there. Friend, tell these guys, you know, why they can't do that. Help the talking butterfly. Uh, do we step in? Yeah, we'll step in. We're the hero. Oh, slow down there. I mean, I do appreciate your bravery and all, but I think it's best if we could deal with these ruffians in a civilized manner. Now this butterfly has the gall to label us as ruffians. You're going to see how ruffians we can get. I think I really could use your help. Well, I offered at first. A little busy right now, pal. Please just go along your business and leave us to deal with this quarrelsome insect. A squirrel's been shipwrecked? Butch, please talk less in front of others. <laughs> Butch, Butch, shut up. And you, nosy observer type, I'll ask you once more to leave us be. This does not concern you. A man must be free to enrich himself as he sees fit, either through work, art, or acquisition of dosh. Speaking of acquisition in Dosh, if you're just going to watch, you should pay the price of admission. Sometimes we pick mushrooms or flowers and sells them to get by. Other times, we just take the Dosh. Dosh is the currency. Cool. So they're thieves. You can sell mushrooms and items. You can sell all sorts of items. Okay, cool. How about you give us all your Dosh and we'll be on our merry way. Do I have any Dosh? I might not have any. I ain't never seen anything like it. This kid is walking around with no dash. What? I am incredulous. Incredulous, I say I am. How do you expect to get around this world with no dash lining your pockets? This da this dashless hobo and this chatty butterfly deserve each other's company. Look at this. What do we got? Ain't no dash. It's candy. Starting to feel sorry for the kid now. I suppose it's better than nothing. Hand it over. You gotta take over. You're gonna steal my candy. And for the love of Reveria, make some dosh. Yeah, make some dosh. That's my bro's credo. He's pretty good. But I got my very own credo. My credo is buckets. You remember that one, kid. Okay. 
We got some wacky villains, I think. Buckets. Always remember. Buckets. Kobe. Buckets. Maybe he's a basketball player, yeah. I'm doing research on all the life choices here in Riveria, so I've been asking a lot of questions. Those two were being so rude, so I asked, which life did you two select? Let me guess, Nimrod or was it Nincompoop? Guess they didn't care too much for that. Maybe I should have kept quiet, but I just couldn't help it. Anyway, I really owe you one. Thanks again. I'm headed to the castle. I still have more research to do. Maybe I'll see you around. And the castle was... Which way? Due north, right? Yeah, it's just up there. Farewell, then. And good luck with your life. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you. Same to you. Going that way, anyway. The post office box wants to have an opera written about their life. Cool. Respect it. I respect it. Uh, okay. Are you the king? Welcome to Castile Castle. The king is currently receiving an audience in the royal court. His majesty is most gracious to his subjects, but please be quiet as a mark of respect. Okay. Do I just go in? Halt! I'm sorry to inform you, the royal court has a dress code that is enforced at all times. Thank you for going to great lengths of putting on a pair of trousers. Formal attire is required at all times. The king is in there, for goodness sake. You can't go in there looking like you just fell out of bed. There are rules, you know. At least put on a tie or something. Show the king some respect. But that's not fair. Please keep your voice down, butterfly. You have to let me see the king. Hmm. Hello again. I see you two know each other. This is my friend. See, when people help each other out, they have things like friends, you meanie. I can assure you that I am no meanie. I'm sorry, but we just do not allow insects at the royal court. It simply isn't done. The king is a very busy man. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to leave now. Ooh, you got some balagna. Heck yeah. Get some Newfie steak first thing in the morning. Get that frying. Get that sizzling. Yum. That sounds good, Sassy. That's huge. Uh, I think you might be onto something there, Tomcat. I think you might be onto something. <clears throat> they probably didn't let you in to see the king because of the way you're dressed, huh? More prejudice. How could people be so uptight about dressing formally? You even have a personal invitation from the king. This all makes me so... Wait a second. I think I know how to get us both inside the royal court. Want to try something sneaky? Yes. Just trust me on this one, okay? I haven't had most practice hitting a moving target, so stand still. Whoopee! Voila! You've heard of a bow tie? Well, say hello to the world's first butter tie. Okay, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You solved it! You figured it out! Sherlock Holmes. In the name of the king, I will not tell you again that your outfit is not... I think you'll find I have a very fancy bow tie. Dino eggs oatmeal for the morning? I, I think you should. I think you absolutely... You deserve it. You deserve it. When stuff goes wrong like that, you just gotta treat yourself, you know? Take care of yourself. That tie of yours, it seems a little... Lively. But go on ahead. Thank you. I can't believe it really worked. Way to play it cool. Just stride on in there like you've belonged there the entire time. I don't think it would be that far-fetched. To see someone with like a... A butterfly on their neck and thinking it's a bow tie. It's a very similar shape, so... It's the king. He's a baby. You certainly took your time in responding to my summons. I'm sorry if I inconvenienced you at all. After all, I, Eric, 11th King of Castile, am only the ruler of our entire realm. Sure, let me wait. 
You prick. I ask for so little. Anyway, so it is my royal duty to explain to you how all citizens choose the life that they wish to pursue. As King Eric, your rightful, kind, and loving ruler. Doubtful. Allow me to congratulate you on this auspicious day. It's not every day that we are graced by the presence of a young, uh... Sorry, which life did you choose? I forgot what they said in the morning briefing. <clears throat> Ophelia. Can't you just pretend to be even the slightest bit interested? I can't be expected to remember every little... It doesn't matter. So may the life you've chosen lead you to glory, fame, success, all that good stuff. You got it? So this is the king. A little boy? I'm not mumbling. Talking to my bow tie. I like a lad who isn't afraid to show his feelings. A refreshing change from the common lick spittle. Well, let me introduce my wife, Queen Ophelia. What? Sorry? I only ever have brekkie twice a week, so I want to try to make it extra yummy. Yes. You, you've got to. you got to take that little bit of time and effort and make your uh, breakfast extra special today. 100%. 100%. How did this? How are these people married? I'm thinking there might be some sort of curse or something on this king. Your hard work and your new life will be a great benefit and an inspiration to those closest to you. Please remember that what you do for yourself, you also do for all of Riveria. She smells like a meadow in springtime. I like her. All right, calm down now, butterfly. Quit smelling people. The reluctantly smiling young lady to my right is not there. She's gone, darling. Princess Laura left quite a while ago. That girl is shameless when it comes to openly defying my orders. I told her to stay in the castle. Doesn't she know that children are supposed to listen to their parents? Parents? You've got a daughter? Oh, dear. I'll just have to deal with her later. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. As a subject of mine, I ask that you conduct yourself with dignity at all times. Most importantly, enjoy your chosen life and cherish the opportunity to share it with others. Gather much dosh if you wish. Pursue a life filled with bliss if you so desire. Or just collect dandelion puffs until you keel over. It's up to you. Knock yourself out. All who reside in our great land of Riveria are free to live however they see, see fit. Gammy the Angler will follow a singular path, heretofore uncharted since the first sunrise. Please accept these gifts from the royal family as a token of our happiness for your future prosperity. Nice. I'm glad the king gave us a ton of money. After we were mugged. Because <laughs> we didn't have money. And now we do. Got ourselves a world map as well. We would also like to provide you with a basic set of novice armor for your life. Try it on, please. Hey, look at that. The humorous writing in this game is remarkably dry. Refreshing. This entire game is littered. Littered with nonsensical humor and dry jokes and every character has their own little quirk. It's it's all so interesting. It's great. Uh, you can change your weapons to ever made new. Yeah, makes sense. Change your equipped items will change your parameters. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. It's an RPG. Using gear increases your stats. Makes sense. How's that for even the slightest bit interested? Very impressive, darling. Thank you. Good to know the king still got it. Now, on to our next matter of business. As you may or may not know, in Riveria, we offer a master for each life. This will be your mentor. You will begin as a novice under the tutelage of a master. This is how it has always been done. So does that mean, since he's a fisherman? Since he's a fisherman. And he, put, he puts bait on hooks. But he's also a master at doing so. Once you've earned your master's respect, you will be promoted to the rank of fledgling. Your life does not change, just your rank. With hard work, you may achieve a level of master yourself. Who knows, you may even surpass it and attain the level of hero. Or dare I mention, legend. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must meet with the angler master. May doing so prepare you for an exciting and fulfilling chapter in your newly budding life. Thank you. Don't get it, Amber? It's, a, it's just a fishing thing. It's all fine. It's all good. <laughs> My keen subject. Now you must make your way to your master post-haste. 
I wish you eternal luck in, you, in your new angler life. Should you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. Just don't, you know, spend all your time just hanging around. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a purpose in life. I just, I, we haven't caught a fish yet today. 45 minutes in, we haven't caught a fish yet. Butter tie off. That was great. I got to see the king thanks to you. You played it real smooth in there. Well done. I guess this is where we part ways. Good luck in your new life, Gammy. Hey, look at that. Hype train emote. Love that. Is that a is that a pooch? Is that a doggy? Or a golfer of some sort? It's cute, either way. Did I mention that your new duds look really great? The king definitely set you up. I've got a massive fish on my head. Oh, it's an otter. Oh, it's a matching set. Oh, that's adorable. That's cute. Uh, you seem a little naked around the neck, though. If it gets cold, that's not going to be comfortable. It's almost as if your outfit could use one more accessory. You just look like you're lacking a little something. Hey, I've got another great idea. It just doesn't make sense for you to go on alone. I mean, it's such a big world, Gammy. You could get so much more accomplished with a friend. Your silence speaks volumes. You're just going to make me come out and beg, aren't you? Come on, you have to let me come with you. Riveria has no place for a butterfly on its own. You won't regret this, I promise. I knew you'd see... Well, see, in a game like this, you need a character that can talk so that the main character doesn't need to. <laughs> so now we've got a butterfly tie. The king gave you a map, right? Let's bust that baby out and see where we're going. I agree. Okay. Select locations. Go home. How else are you supposed to insert yourself into your character? Exactly. Exactly. Save often. You can also save in your bed. Time moves at a leisurely pace in Riveria. Go to your room or an inn and rest to wake up that evening, or sleep to snooze your way into the next morning. Okay, cool. We can skip days and time. We'll just do a quick save. Um, so yeah, what I from what I've seen, because they've only released a, sh a very short Fantasy Life trailer for the new one that's coming out this year. Um... I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Because it doesn't look like it's going to go the same way as this one. But uh, I'm still interested. Still definitely going to be paying attention and, and trying to grab it when it comes out. Definitely worth looking up the trailer, though, if you think, uh, if you, think you might be interested. So this is the, the the fishing shop right here. We got a meat shop right here. Looks like you can sell vegetables here. This is a dog. Woof woof woof. I heard barking helps build muscles. Oh good. Keep going then. We've got the the bar is here, and then there's the swordsmith, just right there as well. Just people playing in the square. So the save location. Looks like there's a restaurant here. The anglers must be over this way a bit more. I a lot of people haven't heard of this game, honestly. It's it's so it's so underrated. I didn't hear anybody playing it when it came out, and I didn't hear any I, I barely ever hear anybody talking about it. But it's so cute, it's so fun. There's so much to do. Like the number of side quests that you unlock is insane. It's just so good. It's just super good. I've actually never played as an angler. I've only ever played this through once. Um, and I played as the archer the first time around. I had a bow and arrow. It was fun. So I'm interested to see how it's going to work. Playing as just a fisherman. We're here. Hello. Do I sense a student oh approach? 
Damn right he is. Damn right he is. This is our master, the fisherman sage. This is the masturbator. One who wishes to learn the ancient art of fishing. You must be prepared, my guppy, to delve into the deep mysteries of the sea. One must focus one's will upon the water. One must have patience, no matter what the weather. Even in harsh wind, baking sun, fiercest sleet, one must wait and wait and... Ugh! Lost another one? <laughs> Just goes to show, even the wisest of anglers can be made a fish's fool. Do I sense you're having doubts, my guppy? Then turn your back on the angler's life. No, wait! I was just being... Okay, all right, I'll admit it. That was just a whole bag of big talk. Were you calling my bluff? I guess I laid it pr on pretty thick with the weather talk. Please don't go. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a fishing rod of your own. You'll be a pro in no time. I swear, if you stay, I'll teach you everything you know about life as an angler. You almost slipped the line, and I'd, I'd hate to stifle your interest. Now, where to begin? Let's jump right in, then. Can't wait to see you take on this, uh... Take this... Take to this like a fish to water. Best way to learn how to fish is to grab a rod and drop a line in. Here you go, the rod I promised you. Let's go. I like the I like the the kazoo, <laughs> the kazoo sounds. What to fish for first? I'll make it a common one, at least common around here. A cast a Castile Prussian. I'd like you to work with Isaac to learn the basics. Sorry, I can't leave the dock now, but Isaac will do a good job. I just showed him the ropes. I will tell you this, though, and it's a biggie. You can sell your catches in the west part of town. I'll send word to the fishmonger. She likes to know who her fish are coming from. And I forgot to introduce myself. I am known hereabouts as the Fisherman Sage. And that is Isaac. Now I look forward to seeing how you tackle your first task. Quest number one. Old Man Angler. I wonder if I'll actually get a voice. Or a name, sorry. Tackle. Funny joke, I know, right? I'm counting on this game to be filled with fishing puns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. A guppy rod? Where'd you get it? From Grandpa? Oh my gosh. A basic rod, sure, but it's effective. Good handling, strong line, effective reeling. Best of all, the guppy rod looks good, too. Nice color, sleek engineering, stylish. There's no way I would, I agree with anglers who say this, that fishing shouldn't fuss with stylish touches. Sorry for going on about it. I guess I get a little nuts about fishing. So you're new to all this, right? I'm Isaac, assistant to my grandpa. I mean, to the fisherman sage. Nice to meet you, Gammy. Did you know grandpa, how grandpa came to be called the fisherman sage? Because he's been around forever. So we call him, we call him Matt then, do we? He founded Monthly Catch, the magazine for anglers in Riveria. He seriously knows his stuff. Anyway, what did he tell you to catch? Probably a carp, right? A Castile Crucian. Classic grandpa. That fish is great for a first lesson. I know the perfect spot for Castile Crucians. Not too far. Walk. Worth the walk. I'll run on ahead to get things set. When you're ready, you can find me by using your map. Let's go catch that carp, Gammy. <laughs> yeah. I did not, I didn't put my best efforts forward on that one, but you, you got the gist of it. Uh, looks like there's horses up here. That's exciting. Another save spot here that I'll take advantage of, just in case. First world problem, deciding what game to sink into on a Saturday morning. Sea of Thieves, solid solid uh solid recommendation there matt absolutely bit of dave the diver wouldn't uh, wouldn't hurt either maybe some harvest moon do some fishing you gotta do some fishing obviously it's it's a good morning for some fishing a lot of anglers know this spot it's really good for catching castile crucians some anglers like to teach fishing by putting a rod in your hands and pointing to the water. Not me, though. I'll teach you the technique first. Okay. See there? There's a carp. It's also where you cast your line. Yep. Hooking the fish and pulling it out of the water is trickier. Ready your fishing rod. Examine the fish. Okay. 
Cast your line and wait for a fish to bite. When the float starts to dip quickly, press A. If your timing is right and a fish is on the line, it cause damage. Oh. While a fish is caught on the line, hold down A to inflict damage. While the fish's H when the fish's HP reaches zero, you will successfully caught it. Okay, this is a different a different technique here for sure. If the fish gets away, speak to that cat over there. He'll know how to make it reappear. You'll expend SP as you fight a fish. When I run about when I run out of SP here, I just refresh my SP by drinking some spring water from over there. And sometimes I shake that tree to get some tasty grassland honey. That's the how. Now it's time for you to do. Drop your line here and catch the Castile Crucians and bring it back to me once you reel it in. Don't forget to equip your fishing rod first. Right, okay. I want to talk to the cat first. Hello? No, that's fine. Thank you, though. Um, gear. Where's me rad? Equip. I guess we'll leave the fishing outfit on for now too, right? We don't we don't want to change out of that just yet. Uh, all right. Our first fish of the day. Finally. Oh, I've got a hold. Okay. Ha! Tasty Castile Crucian, our first fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is not is not cheap. It is on the Games Pass, however. But um, if you don't have the Games Pass, it's it's not super accessible to get <laughs> just to sink into on a Saturday morning. It's also. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's got a steep learning curve, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that the game doesn't tell you that you that you'll either Google or find out the hard way. I'm eating again. I forget how crackery goldfish can be. I just shoved my mouth full of them, and then I couldn't <laughs> couldn't speak. Too many goldfish. We'll do one at a time from now on. Goodness me. Occasionally, uh, you can catch exceptionally large fish. Higher HP making them difficult to catch. They also fetch a higher price, so that's nice. I'm eating whole goldfish right now, yeah. They're a bit wriggly. But they're good. They're good. They taste like gold. Like, um, like gold schlager? That vodka or whatever? It's like, just like that. Getting wasted on goldfish. Okay. Let's go sell our first fish. How exciting. Gonna make some money. The king gave us 300 bucks for free. How much do we think our first fish is gonna... Gonna sell? It's schnapps, not vodka? It's semantics. It's alcohol. Close enough. Warframe is free? There you go, Sassy. Maybe, maybe you can give Warframe a go. A good suggestion. I've heard it once once or twice before. It's a good suggestion. Always forget about the Game Pass? I love the Games Pass. I, I so many games that I play around there. It's so good. And usually on sale for like a dollar, which is crazy. You must be the new angler. The fisherman's age sent me a message you'd be coming. We brought you a Castile Crucian. Let's see that Castile Crucian. Hand it over. The cru How many times do I have to say this? Castile Crucian. For a fish that size, here's a fair payment. 
30 bucks. Okay, not bad. Use them ingredient as ingredients in cooking. Pleasure doing business with you. I hope to see you uh, often. Yeah. There are many fish besides that. Plain sweet fish, Castile carp, elderwood, trout. People like variety. Would you want to eat the same fish every single day? No way I would. Anyway, there are also rare fish to be found, such as the apple fish. So delicious, and like all rare fish, the apple fish is worth a lot more dosh. Have you caught an apple fish yet by any chance? No, we're both beginners. I had to turn away a customer who wanted one of those. I'm all out of apple fish at the moment. It's bad business to disappoint a customer like that, but I had no choice. Apple fish is such a delicacy. He was quite an old man, not one of my usuals. He's staying at the inn in Castile Square. I hated to turn him away since he said he came to Castile to sample our local apple fish. I wonder who he is. Let's go find out. I want to catch an apple fish. I I entirely agree with you, Tomcat, as well. I think I think Sea of Thieves might have something for everybody. Granted, the fact that it's all what you you can always be attacked at any moment, I know that does uh, damper people's opinions of it. Because if you just want to relax and fish, you can't really do that without the possibility of being attacked at any point. One thousand hours of content for free. That's five times Final Fantasy. Oh my God! There you go. Five. What? Well, One thousand hours of content in Warframe. Holy crap! You learn how not to get attacked. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just hide. It's not too bad. Seabury. Pair of anglers. I see. What can old Seabury do for you? Were you trying to buy some applefish in the market by any chance? Yes, that was me. Uh, I feel awful about it. I'm one of the local anglers. It's my fault here there was no applefish. No need to apologize, young man. That fish is quite a rarity. I last had applefish years ago. Grilled to perfection. Seasoned beautifully. Unforgettable. Neither of you should take any blame. That fish is so delicious it sells out instantly. Bad luck. Maybe next time. Where are you from, anyway? I've come all the way from Port... Port... Port Porto? Port Porto? Port Porto? I love Port Porto. It's so sunny up there. The sea is so blue. And the Anglers Association. Ever heard of the Anglers Association, Gammy? It's a group up in Port Porto that talks, takes fishing very seriously. Puerto. Port Puerto. Okay, thank you. Anglers' best catches. And, and it said there's a legendary angler in Port Porto who knows everything about everything. I'd love to go there someday. Uh, a legendary master. Someone's been telling whoppers. Still, Port Porto is a great fishing town. But one thing Port Porto doesn't have is applefish. And prepared Castile style, grilled and served with herb butter on top, it's heavenly. I hope I might have it one last time, but short of a miracle, it looks like I'm out of luck. I want to catch an applefish. We should help him. How about we try to catch an applefish? Or anglers. Yes. Yes. Let's go talk to your grandpa. I know I've seen him somewhere before. Who could forget a face like that? I'm calling it now. He's he's the legendary fisherman. Right? He's got to be. He's got to be the legendary fisherman. He's a legendary fisherman, but he, he likes to just sample other fish or something like that. Doesn't like to go catching them himself. To each their own, I say. Alright, let's go see what Gramps has to say. Tell me where to fish next. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, well, well. I visited my two students back from the catch. How did it go? Did you fail to catch that carp? No, no, I got that, no problem. It's something else. We failed our town as anglers. An old man came all the way from Porto Port, Port Porto for applefish. His fish mark was out of them, and he's really old. And he came so far, they just wanted, wanted just wanted one last bite of applefish. I shouldn't take it so personally, but we anglers of Castile have to help him out. 
He wants apple fish, you say? No anglers hereabouts have seen any lately. Now, now, Isaac, I wasn't finished. You know what I've told you before. Anglers must stay calm. No anglers have seen that fish, but there is another group that can help you. They're fanatical about fish. They pounce on any opportunity to get them, Isaac. Cats, of course. They know their fish. They could surely help you. Find the right cat to find that apple fish. A cat? I'll go find one right away. I've got one here somewhere. I don't know where he is right now. I guess we're going to enlist the help of some cats, though. He's a nice boy, but he always dives right on him without listening to his grandpa. I'll tell the rest of you. Surely you want to help that applefish. Yeah, I want to catch an applefish. One of the cats in town will know where to fish for an applefish. If you do catch one, I'll take it as proof you're a born angler. What fun! I wonder which of you will find that fish first. Try to beat Isaac to it. Okay. Well, my map is going to tell me what cat to go talk to, so I think I think we're set. I think we're all, we're we're in this for the win here. We will become the best angler, a legendary angler, a fisherman extraordinaire. Uh, oh, it looks like the fish is the cat is just over here. Hey, little guy. Tout? Trout? Aww. Meow? Meow, 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 meow. Do I know where the applefish is? Maybe. Hold on, do you even speak cat? I'll just switch to your language. Infinitely easy to negotiate that way. What the fuck? Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? So you want an applefish? The cat is just... Alright, you know what? I'll just speak English for now. You want an applefish, do you? That information will cost you a king's ransom in tuna, my friend. What, cat got your tongue? I see. You're just a novice. Then I'll give you the info for free. Consider it an investment. I'll milk you for all you're worth later once you're a top angler. We cats offer our fishing insights all over Riveria. Well then, let's go. Game Pass just got me to jump through too many hoops, so F that. I rage quit that Microsoft... Uh, I rage quit the Microsoft store trying to resub. I've done that before as well, Sassy. Sometimes it can just be such a fucking pain. Such a pain. Sign into this account. Okay, now, are you sure that's your real account? All right, solve this gacha. Tell me which of these has stop line, stop signs in it. Do that three times, then you might not be a robot. Okay, thank you. Now we've just sent a code to your email. Go find that email, put in the code. You've got 10 seconds to do it. If 10 seconds passes, then you're a robot. You've got to start over again. Oh, it's just the worst. I hate having to sign in to, to things these days. It's just such a pain in the ass. Trout joined your party. We've done it. We've got a cat. Head to Trout's fishing spot. I've known Trout for five minutes, but if anything happened to him, I would, I would kill everybody in this room and then myself. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Capture. Sorry. To solve a capture, not a gotcha. <laughs> they are quite different, yeah. Ah! Oh, the applefish spawns at the apple orchard. What a strange coincidence. There. Just like I said. Apple tree, apple fish. See it down there? Get to catching, and don't forget your old friend Trout when you're a master angler. There's a technique for reeling in trickier fish, but... If the fish gets away, just talk to me, okay? Watch your line gauge. Your line gauge will rise as you pull on your rod uh, with the fish on the line. If you keep pulling when the line gauge is full, the line will snap. Okay. This is the mechanic I thought it was missing. Sometimes fish will fight. Stop pulling for a second and relax your rod in the direction the fish is struggling to prevent the line gauge from filling up. Watch for on-screen arrows. If the line gauge is perilously full, feel free to stop pulling for a while. As long as the fish isn't struggling, this will allow your line gauge to fill gradually. Okay. We'll try this out. Let's see. Give me that apple fish. Oh. Okay, so there's our line gauge going down. And then if we... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pointing the way that the fish is swimming. Okay. Seems doable. Not too difficult. Applefish! Oh, look at him! He's so derpy looking. Oh, I love that. It was like, Games Pass is eleven ninety nine. Go here to resub. So I click, and it's like, reactivate for nineteen ninety nine. And I'm like, no. So I go back, and it goes to the wrong account. I log out, and log back in, and get the eleven ninety nine prompt. And then it's having an error with PayPal. Fuck that noise. Especially since the graphic said Games Pass for a dollar, and then tried to charge me nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think they've got like, five or six different promotions going on at any given point with the Games Pass. So you really need to like click in the proper spots to make sure you're getting it for the right deal. It's a bit tricksy. You gotta, you almost need to trick Microsoft into working for you. But, uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting up with that nonsense today. We got ourselves an apple fish. I'd love to sink my teeth in. But I suppose you need it for a reason. Yeah, I've gotta give it to an old man. Thank you, Trout. Can I get another one? Will this just uh, always be an apple fish? It's not that rare then, if that's the case. Oh, I pressed A too early. Oh, it came back immediately. <laughs> yeah, there's also different Games Pass versions. There's one for Xbox, there's one for PC. There's one for both of them combined. And it does like to switch for some reason between them. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing over there. It's a really nice subscription service. I, I have to agree. But the hoops that you need to go through just to make it work sometimes is not worth Makes you go to a different website where you're not logged in and don't know the passwords. Yep. Yep. I get that too. Yeah. There's lots of other games to play. For sure. For sure. No need to take on any stress you don't need for today, right? It's all about relaxing today. Chill. Calm. Serene. Until the crew of the Salty Pickle comes around. Then it's chaos. But until then. Calm. Serene. There, um... There may or may not be a fishing-themed hydrate thing, too, by the way, just to get that information out there now. What other game might you play, uh, Sassy? What do you got on your Steam, Steam library? I hope there are boss fish that, like, have a lot of health. <laughs> the sounds, man. Looking at turmoil? Turmoil. Never heard of it. What What kind of game is it? It's relaxing? It doesn't, turmoil doesn't sound like a relaxing game. Like a super simple oil game. Oh, okay. Oh, turmoil. I get it. Ah uh, ha ha. Thank you, Tomcat, for updating that command. Appreciate that. Why should Jacksepticeye play it back in like 2015? Oh, cool. Okay. Interesting. I might have to look into it myself. I know you just. Thank you for the hydrate. I know we were just talking about not spending money on games, but you you should all look into a game called Terra Nil. T-E-R-A-N-I-L. It's also very chill, and it's all about taking, like, destroyed parts of the Earth and rebuilding it, like rebuilding the habitat, the ecosystem. It's so nice. I wanted to play it on stream um, for the Magnet, and we probably will at some point. I just need to find the time to do it. It's such a nice game. It's so good. Thank you, Amber, for the hydrate. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Oh, 
Watching Jacksepticeye play games used to be how... Oh, that's how I first found out about um, Slime Rancher. And Matt Shea. Matt Shea was playing a lot of Slime Rancher as well. Uh, hey, I've got your applefish, Seabree. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that an applefish? You went and caught a nice one. You've made this old man happy, angler. He's going to be the fisherman legend, and then we're going to be invited to the fisherman's alliance or whatever it is. Oh my god! 500 dash! And we spent an hour in Riveria, which is cool. I won't forget that name anytime soon. Come see me in Port Porto once you're a bit further along as an angler, alright? My name is Seabury. You can find me at... Mister, Mister, I've got your applefish. Sorry, Isaac, I got it before you did. Applefish must be biting today. You caught one too. Already. Before me. Castile didn't let you down. Two applefish in one day. I can't wait to tell the Anglers Association. They'll be glad to hear a fisherman sage is... Or, the fisherman sage is taking two bright students up the ranks. He's your grandpa. Well, glad to meet you. Your grandfather is an old fishing buddy. From way back, too. He and I founded Monthly Catch. Ever heard of it? Have I? I read every issue of that magazine. Wait, I thought I knew your face. You're from the Anglers Association. I'm Seabury, the head of the Anglers Association. Look me up anytime you're in Port Porto, Isaac. You're... We'll be glad to show you around. It would be my honor. Thank you, mister. Let's go tell my grandpa. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This way will work, too. This will also work. the longer way around though all the same all well, the birds around as well oh, my goodness bird heavy village kind of like uh luna's fishing garden yesterday <laughs> the thing i like most about this game as well is that it doesn't it doesn't change based on, like, the, the, the life that you chose. So, like, everything is still here, right? So, like, if you take if you choose a miner, you can interact with this copper deposit. But because I'm not a miner, I don't think I can. But you can still see all the stuff that you can do as another class, which just, for me anyway, makes me want to just try all the other classes so I can kind of see where their story goes. All of the masters have, like, different stories and personalities to them. There's just so much to explore. The man at the end was my old friend, Seabury. That means every angler in Port Porto will soon hear about the two of you. And it's high time I elevate your ranks, my students. Let's take a look at what you've done. 130 stars, not bad. I guess, is that good? But I guess so. We're fledgling anglers now. Plus one intelligence, plus two focus. You've done so much already. Now catch every opportunity to grow into better anglers. Remember to come see me now and then so we can review all your latest achievements. And surely Seabury told you to visit Port Porto once you further along in your fishing. You two are so fortunate. Our great fishing trips are ahead of you all over the world. And you'll catch fish in the strangest places. Lava flows and cloud banks, if you can believe it. And maybe, if you catch rare fish, I might even put it in monthly catch for everyone to read about. In the magazine? Seriously? Of course, why wouldn't I? You know, Seabury put me on the first cover of Monthly Catch, but only because we had to stick something on the front. Of, but only because we had to stick something on the front cover, and he's a salty sea dog. <laughs> Hopefully, one of us will make the cover too. Good luck catching fish, fellow angler. Don't call me Shirley, Grandpa. Don't be at it. Quit it. Quit that. Oh, we hit level two. Leveled up for the first time. I like these achievements. Well done. 
There's something different about you, Angler. You almost look like you're glowing. Those stars are going to serve you well. Stars are points earned in each different life. Complete various challenges to earn stars. As you earn stars, your rank will rise. As your rank rises, you'll be able to learn new moves and techniques. Okay, so stars are basically experience. On the licenses menu, you can check your challenges set by your master and others in your life, as well as your skills, recipes, etc. On the skills menu, you can check which skills you've learned. The more skills you'll be able to take on tougher enemies, more difficult challenges. Your rank will affect certain conversations with those in your life. Be sure to talk with those who have a question mark symbol over their heads. Let's head back to your place for a little shut-eye. Your level will rise as you gain experience from activities. Leveling up can raise your HP and grant you stat points that you can distribute as you see fit. Apply your stat points any way you want via the status menu. Key stats vary from life to life, so allocate your points wisely. I'm assuming intel in into intuition, was it? I'm assuming focus focus and what was the other one? Intelligence, I guess. Intelligence and focus is probably what we need for fishing. We've got two points available. Let's just be let's just get really smart. Improves magic and alchemy. hold on now, hold on, hold on. Improves magic and alchemy. Carpentry, blacksmithing, and defense. Sword attacks, mining, and woodcutting. Fishing and cooking. Bows, daggers, and sewing. Critical hits. Ooh. Okay, we'll go one focus and one for luck. I don't know if critical hits are gonna come into effect for fishing or not, but we'll see. Let's check our licenses. What are these all about? Uh, oh my god. We've got so many... So many challenges to unlock. Look at these. Look at that. All of these are different challenges. Holy shit. Execute a counter hook ten times, which is done by pressing the A button the moment the fish bites. Catch five crystal which can be found in the waters around Castile. Ten of those. Five. Oh my god. It just wants you to fish so much. And I'm just... I just love this so much. <laughs> this is everything I want in a video game. What skills do we know? Press B while moving to break into full sprint. Okay, we've got level one dash. Press and hold B to switch into the sneaking, sneaking stance so that you can sneak past monsters. Okay. And also fishing. Which we're still only level 1 in. We've got some skill with daggers. And no skill in fishing yet. Or uh, cooking yet. Alright. Your butt's a counter hook. Boom. Get fished. Get fished. How dare. How dare. Good morning, Game Nut. How you doing, sir? Welcome to the... Welcome to our fantasy life. Congrats on your first. I'm surprised it... Almost an hour and a half in. Nobody's done that yet. Wow. Good job. Well done. You win. I think that probably puts you on the on the first board. Very good job. That That is such a catchy sound. Um, exclamation point. First, and then the number five, all one word, will show you the first leaderboards, if anybody's curious. Which I still need to figure out. I just need to sit down sometime this week and try to figure out how to fix them. Because I still owe Mel two. I owe Mel two. Oh, I guess with a space, it'll tell you how many firsts you have. But all as one word will show you the leaderboard. Hashtag first to the... <laughs> Good one, Amber. I'm surprised that didn't work. Just like, just like Game Nut typed it, but without the space. Ooh! Reeled in a tasty giant Castile Crucian. Oh my goodness. That was cool. There you go. There's the leaderboard right now. 
Which again is is not correct. Mel should have four. Just this came up, put it with the spaces. <laughs> I could I could potentially add all of those as commands that will also trigger it. <laughs> Have to write them down. Uh, I think you might have four as well, yeah. You've 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 had a few more since then, so I've kind of lost track. But I think you're also at four. And again, there is a command to give people points to correct them, but it's just not working for some reason. So I'll, I'll try to figure it out later. Sorry, I'm just very eager to com complete these first few challenges, like, immediately. And all these question marks are going to be side quests. I'm just so excited. <laughs> what did you expect? Something useful? Snarky bugger. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we just leveled up. Let's go two points into 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 fishing and focus this time around. Just to see. Tori Moral is MIA. Oh no. How does that happen? Is it just gone? Report back to the fisherman sage to complete. Okay, so once you once you finish them, you've got to just go back to him to talk to him. Okay, so we we we'll get his side quest now as well. Uh, it could have been removed from turmoil, or sorry, it could have been removed from epic. That does happen. Your save file. Oh no, that's such a pain. Oh, it's there for Game Nut. Oh. Oh, epic. Maybe maybe close it and open it again, Sassy, and, and have another look? Or do a refresh or something? What can I help you with? Give me a side quest. Please and thanks. Cats seem to think about nothing else but what fish are in the local waters. Be sure to speak with them. I want to activate the question mark thing. Why can't I... Oh, I trust you know what stats are key for an angler? Dexterity and intelligence. Oh, crap. But most of all is focus. Okay. Okay, that's all he had to tell me. All right, he wasn't going to give me a side quest. But now I'm glad we know what stats to go for. We should put some into dexterity, I guess. Maybe it's because we attack with a dagger? Because we're a fisherman? That would make sense. Hello, Trout. Nice to see you, little angler. All right, I have to talk your speak. <laughs> I represent the Bean Toes Squad. Oh my goodness. Allies in angling. I'm Trout, leader of operations in Castile. We have other Miambers in Port Puerto and Al Magic who gather helpful information for anglers. Sorry, Toe Bean Patrol? That's adorable. Those fish make up a royal platter. Castile is full of such wonderful, delectable fishies. So these aren't side quests, I don't think. These are... These are our quests. Butterfly requests. Other requests and then challenges. There are so many challenges as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There's so much to do. What you got for me, Isaac? I'll treat you to one of my specialties. You can't fish on an empty stomach after all. Grilled crucian, thank you so much. Let's give you three cooked fish. 
Tomcat, how come when I come over to visit your house, you don't give me three cooked fish? Huh? The applefish is a rare fish, but it's common compared to the rest of the fish. It's the ornamental carp, and it appears every now and then near the waterfall in West uh, Castile. That carp fetches a high price. Try to catch one as you pass that waterfall if you haven't already. Challenge accepted. Challenge absolutely accepted. Was that a was that a quest? Ah, what a trophy. Catch the rare ornamental carp, which is said to swim in Castile waters. Can I like track it or anything? No. I'm gonna have to look into this turmoil as well. I'm curious now. Uh, I've 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 already forgotten where we need to go. Is it west? The rare ornamental carp, which is said to swim in Castile waters, waterfall though, right? West. Uh, so oh, I see the waterfall on the map. Okay, cool. It's something simple and chill. Something I can watch a stream or show with. I love that kind of stuff too, yeah. Let me just uh, do a quick look. Term oil. First playlist that came up. Jacksepticeye. Is it like a managing sim? Like, are you like managing an oil oil field? Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, it uh, uh, might be a bit of a clicker game as well. Looks like there's a lot of stuff just kind of happening. That's kind of cool. Speed up time and whatnot. Making money. All right. I see. What, I, I get the vibe. I get the vibe. Different levels. Yeah. Right. 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 With like little achievements, I guess. Little uh, little goals. Every time. That's cool. I like it. Ah, this must be where the... Is this the waterfall, I wonder? Is this the fish? Is this the one? We'll travel farther up the river, if not. But we'll see. Come to Swirly. You're eating me basket. Come on. You basically create oil drills and try to get them before others do the lay of a claim, and then they. Uh... Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. That's yeah. That's kind of what I got from the quick look that I had. Play oh, oh my goodness. How's it going? What's up? Thank you, Advil, for the gift sub if you're in the chat. Hello, uh, fishing friend. How are you doing today, Play Oh? Uh, what does this sign say? Why did the player cross the bridge? To get a freshly laid egg from me, Gawk. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> did you say that? Egg. Oh my god, it's Eggbert. Welcome to the bird coop, Magok. Hello? Magok! Did you know? There's an amazing bird living in the grassy plains. Apparently, it lays mahoose of eggs. So big they put my eggs to shame. Say what? How can I lay eggs when I'm a rooster? That's one of the seven mysteries of Castillo. Okay. Yoink. Yoink. Thank you. Excellent. I agree. Satan Greymon. How's it going? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Nice bagok. <laughs> I showed you my bagok. Please respond. Oh, there's some dandelion puffs as well. I could just pick up stuff. I love just picking up stuff. I'm doing grand because, because I have blissful nothing planned. How are you? I'm doing great. 
I'm doing great. We're having a great time. We're playing fantasy life. We're learning how to become a fisherman. We're going to catch all the rare fish. We're not going to be too concerned about the rooster that lays eggs. Who am I to judge? Uh, I'm also going to steal this farmer's crops before running away. I think this is probably the fishing spot that they're talking about. So we'll keep trying here. $3 and I get it on Steam now instead of Epic. Thank you, friends. That's good stuff. Steam is... Steam is good. I like Steam. I don't know if it's because I've used it for so long and now I'm just so familiar with it. I don't know if Steam is actually the best out of all of the possibilities. I've tried them. I've tried the other ones. I don't like any of them. Steam is good. Steam is my jam. Thank you, Gaben. Fibs, fibs, fibs. Marry a duke. Uh, marry a duck, Brandybuck. Are you stealing that farmer's crops? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm no fool of a duke. Being the biggest storefront, it's the least likely to drop games randomly or just fail so that you lose all of your library's value. Still not great, though. Steam? I, 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 the update has definitely changed my opinion on Steam. I, uh... Because I found a lot of the functionality of Steam wasn't working, but now it seems to be working better than it ever was, so. I stuck too much money onto Steam to start spreading games across launchers, to be honest. Yeah, no, you, yeah. <laughs> Amber, you're definitely a different, a different kind of scenario. It's just like the Netflix thing, right? It's the Netflix thing all over again. It's nice when all of the games are in one place. And when all of the other developers started to branch out, making their own launchers and game libraries it just it's no now this could also be a fishing spot at the waterfall but it doesn't look like there's any fish there or you can be like ubisoft where they just delete your games and account after a year because fuck you yeah that's shitty that's no good Plus the achievements, plus the trading cards. Yeah, Steam has a lot of extra benefits and stuff too that are that that it's enough to keep it interesting. Customizing your profile and stuff like that too. To, I don't know. It's 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 good. It's good. The very purchasing system is flawed. Steam works fine though. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even know they could remove games like that. Yeah, it's it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. I know the Games Pass removes games and stuff, but that's fine because you're paying a service for those games. You're not paying for those games, you know what I mean? But to take away a game that you've paid for, it's a bit shitty. What is this music? Where are we? Oh! Oh! We can get new houses. Oh, my goodness. It's also telling that all the publishers moved to their own storefront, and then apart from Epic, they all came crawling back. Yeah. Yeah. None of it is a purchase, really. It's more of a rental. You didn't pay for the game. You paid for a license to play it while it remains on that particular storefront. I guess so, but they, I, I, do they make that clear? I don't know if they really make that clear. It's a whole interesting thing, right? I I still dislike the fact that sometimes if I want to play a game on Steam, I open it and it's like, you need to open the GTA launcher instead and sign up for a GTA account before you can open it. It's like, no, stop it, please. I, I hate that. Gabe has said in the past that if something happened to Steam, they would look at how to give people access to the games they bought anyway. Oh, nice, cool. I believe that, too. I believe that. You're home. I was just, uh, sweeping your room. A broom! That's what I need. 
Tell me, how did everything go? It went well, but we're both pretty beat, to be honest. I don't believe we've met. You could just call me Butterfly. It's simple. I like it. Gammy really helped me out today. I'm Pam the Landlady. It's the first day of your new life and you're already picked up another mouth to feed, eh? I hope you two have thought about the responsibility that any type of relationship involves. It's a, it, she's, it's a butterfly. We're not dating. I can hunt my own sugar water. That's Okay, good. <laughs> good. I'm not dating the butterfly. Would you guys date a butterfly? I won't keep you, Gammy. I know you've had a long day, but I did want to give you a little something. I was thinking that your room could use a bit of, oh, I don't know, personality? So I got you this. Oh, good. A dirty old worn-out green chair. Thank you. Open a different launcher? How about you open these nuts? Exactly. That's my opinion towards that. They make it abundantly and legally clear somewhere in the agreements that everyone clicks without reading. Yeah, that's usually where all that stuff is, is trapped and locked away. Valve are at least trying to pump loads of money back into pushing games forward. With the Steam Deck, they've revitalized handheld consoles and the viability of gaming on Linux. That's really cool too, yeah. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of praise for the Steam Deck. Every Everybody I know that, you know, plays a lot of PC games or a lot of streamers that I watch definitely have picked up the Steam Deck and they, they seem to just carry it around with them everywhere. Super helpful. Is Overwatch going to be playable on the Steam Deck? Because you can play it on the Switch, but I imagine it doesn't run super well. But having portable Overwatch, like, that sounds wild. I remember back when I was in high school, and there were rumors going around that they were going to be releasing a, a, a version of MapleStory for the DS. And the thought of having an MMO as a portable game, just, I was so excited about that. Flash forward now, what, five, ten years? How long, how, how long it's been? Fifteen years? And now, like, there are just so many games that are portable because of the Steam Deck. Because of the Switch, because of the 3DS. There's just so many portable games. Because of your phone, even. If you if you want to get into it even more so, you can, you can stream from your PS5 to your phone and play it mobile that way. Like, it's so wild. It's incredible. It might not, depending on the anti-cheat. That's a big blocker for multiplayer games. That makes sense. Yeah, true. You gotta have the anti-cheat on. Uh, so we can customize our room in this game as well, too. That's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that. Let's put down our new our new uh, chair, I guess. Where are we gonna put it? Next to the window. Next to here? Yeah, we'll put it here so Pam can read us stories at night. Help us go to bed. That looks lovely. It does change the space a little. But now that you've started your life, you can earn plenty of dash for things like furnishings. Or you can just save your money. Don't think I'm some sort of materialist. If you do end up saving enough dash, I can show you some other places that are a little bigger. I run a real estate agency out of this room downstairs. I'm usually around. If you're interested, come down and we can chat about that, or anything else for that matter. But do keep in mind that although Dosh and stars are important, the key to a happy life is Bliss. Bliss can help you enjoy all sorts of different perks, both at home and on your travels. You hear that, Playo? You're off to a strong start. I think you were talking about Blissful today, right? You have blissfully nothing planned? Fantasy life agrees. Don't push yourself, though. Be sure to come back and rest up whenever you're tired. Plenty of sleep is key to a life full of bliss. Be sure to get some rest. We will. Sounds like we should get you some bliss, huh? I can't wait to see how bliss will change your life. So maybe that's what... Hmm. Hey, check this out. You'll never guess what I can do. I can actually perform bliss checks for you. I was expecting some type of reaction there. Well, never mind. Just let me know if you ever want to check how much bliss you've acquired. We'll see what you've got and tally it all up. Want to give it a quick shot now? Might as well. Time to check that bliss. How happy am I? Ooh. 
Ooh. Not bad. Okay. I got a bliss bonus. Choose your bliss bonus. Oh my goodness. We can unlock a bigger bag, bigger storage. Life with a pet. Share your room and go on adventures with a pet. Cats, dogs, and more. Horse riding. Items will have more. More hairstyles. Be able to listen to the songs in the game. Oh my god, so many choices. I do already have a butterfly. I mean, I don't necessarily need another pet. Getting a horse and being able to ride around the overworld faster might not be a bad idea, but I do like the idea of bigger bag, yeah. That just seems the most beneficial early on. Let's go for that. Uh, in this bag, you can fit as many as 100 items. I don't know what it was before, but I'm sure that's great. Be racking up the bliss bonuses in no time. Bliss is collectible, enjoying daily life. There are various ways to collect bliss during your journey. Journey, Enjoy it! Report to Butterfly in your room to see how much bliss you have. Bliss bonuses can make life in Riveria even more fun. Try to earn as much bliss as you can to unlock sort all sorts of bonuses. I was planning to flap around quietly outside so I wouldn't bother you, but I think I'll just flutter around in here instead. That way we can keep talking. So if you'd like to talk to me, just come back here and I'll be happy to help. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed, though. You're really not so big on conversation, are you? That's okay, I can do most of the chatting. I do gotta say that you handled everything like a champ today. I'm so glad I chose you, Gammy. I mean, not that I chose you. I'm glad that we just happened to run into each other the way we did. Totally random and all. You will have the chance to embark upon many different quests in Riveria. Each quest comes with its own rewards, so take on as many quests as you can. Yes, I will. I love quests. Select the quest title to display the particulars of the quest to the upper screen. Yeah, 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 we got all that. We got all that. I know what quests work. So I guess that's it for small talk, eh? Well, regardless, I can't wait to see what Riveria has in store for us. Let's rest up for now, Gammy. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you for your help today. I had so much fun. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. I'm so excited. I just can't sleep. There's a secret here I need to know. It's hidden somewhere in this world. It may already be too late, but I'm hoping that with your help. Hmm. Some ulterior motives, I think. Cutscene. This is cute. Hey, hey, Tomcat, how's it going? This doesn't look bad for the, uh, for the 3DS. Look at that frog. I wonder if we can catch some frogs. that man legit love this game when I was younger yeah oh, same I uh, I got it on my birthday it came out in like November and I got it for my birthday and I just played it a ton it's so good these are all the different classes and there's a new fantasy life coming out later this year for the switch and I'm so excited I don't know if it's gonna be anything like this one but it doesn't matter I'm gonna play it anyway Level 5's sequels are usually nothing like their originals. Dark Cloud 1 and Dark Cloud 2 are similar, but so very different. 
Same thing with Nino Kuni. I haven't played Nino Kuni 2 yet, but I've heard that it's just like entirely different from the first one, which I like. So I'm very excited to see where this new one's gonna go. We we just zoomed in on that man's ass. <laughs> Captain Cobbs, how you doing, sir? We are doing well. How are things? How are things? Oh yeah, I just saw the message there, Tomcat. I'll uh, I'll respond to John. He he doesn't he doesn't. I don't want him to feel like he has to play. I think I made that clear. If John wants to jump in, he can. If he doesn't want to, he doesn't have to. If he wants to jump in and then hop out again, he absolutely can. There's no 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 real need to have a full crew. Um and I don't think there's any downside to him leaving. Neo, if Neo wants to join, if anybody wants to join once John leaves, yeah, we can get a fourth in. Absolutely. We're just going to be fishing, so just woke up. I hope you slept well, Captain Cobbs. Thank you for everything yesterday, by the way. Clear divide. Good morning, sir. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Everyone's like, ooh, fireworks, but it cost that wizard 1800 dosh. Efficient tasks. I love that. Greymon, thank you so much. That's a great joke. Efficient. Do you get it, guys? Ah. Uh, uh, I've never seen anybody co roll out of bed quite like that before. I hope it because I was tickling your nose. That couldn't have been it, right? I think I heard the postman toss a letter in your mailbox a few minutes ago. Let's go see who it's from. Okay. Butterfly is requested now available. Other quests are you. You'll need to complete butterfly requests regularly to continue on with the story. Okay, that makes sense. The butterfly quests are the main story quests. When you've earned some bliss, return to your room and report to the butterfly. As the story progresses, the range of areas you are able to explore will continue to expand. Check your quests to explore Riveria freely. Cheeky little save, though. Fibsh! So many fish. What kind of mail do we have? I offer you my congratulations on starting your new life, but the adventure has only just begun. New discoveries await those willing to explore. Good luck on your travels. Is that it? Uh, there's so many tutorials. Okay, well that didn't really give us any ideas of where to go next, but the map wants me to go up here. To look at this statue. Advil, I hope your day is going well. I hope everybody's day is going well. Clear divide. You working today? George Street Fest is still on, I, I guess, yeah? I, you must be working all week, if that's the case. This is the famous goddess statue I've heard so much about, eh? No, my winged friend. This is the goddess statue. Pretty sure I just said that. Well, yes, I do believe in Kismet. I think Kismet may have brought us both together for the view, to view the goddess at this very moment. Oh, he's he's an old man. Would you like to hear a story about the goddess, my chatty hovering friend? Actually, we're kind of busy right now, so if it begins in the olden time, just back before you were born, before I was born, before Dirt was born, and exactly when OK Tomcat was born. And what year was Dirtborn, exactly? About two years before Needless Snark. Anyway, Riveria has fallen, uh, fallen prey to great corruption and decay. Its citizens had all lost the will to work. Their, wo their world fell into disarray, but a few people pleaded to the goddess. She heard their wishes, and the goddess heard their wishes and saved them all, because that's what goddesses do, right? Not really, my sharp-tongued flutterer. 
Perhaps you would benefit from listening before you speak. You see, the goddess grew tired of granting individual wish after individual wish, so she came up with the brilliant idea of giving her people the power to fulfill each other's wishes. She knew that if... She Bruce Almighty to everybody, but I'm getting here. She knew that if her people would just dedicate their time to creating rather than wishing, they could help one another achieve, well, anything they wanted. The goddess knew the key was to help each person find something that he or she loved to do, so she created a variety of things that would help people find their passion. To find their... Their life. You're talking about taking up a life. Yes. My interruptive scaly wing. She taught Reverians how to fulfill one another by pursuing a life. Only working until 11.30 each night, but I'm there all week. Mostly just making sure the bar has mild entertainment before the main stage. So my evenings are easy. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess they've got live performances and stuff going on. That's pretty solid then. You're not... Not super stressed out and, and too busy during George Street Fest. I like that. I'm glad you're enjoying the game, Sassy. I hope I hope uh, I hope you're making a lot of money off of oil and uh, not fracking. That's, that's bad. That's why some call her the Life Goddess. No, that's why some call her the Life Goddess. Shame. It seems to be fewer and fewer people working towards their wishes these days. Why do you... <clears throat> Why do you think that is? Because fewer and fewer youngsters are taking up a life these days. It's all happening again, you see. But people still have wishes. They just need to know their wishes matter, right? If everyone felt... If everyone felt every life... If everyone felt every life would help fulfill every other life, the wishes would be endless. Yes, my optimistic Lepidopterin. Lepidopterin. You sound just like the great goddess herself. Just a matter of showing everyone the power. Okay, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. Butterfly is the goddess. I've played this game before, so I, I'm probably just remembering and not just figuring it out myself. But Butterfly is probably the goddess, right? They gave Emily a pass as well. So she came down last night. We watched the concert together. So it's pretty chill. That's awesome, dude. The perks of working down there, hey? It's exactly the kind of game you wanted this morning. And a nice cup of doesn't hurt. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's good, Sassy. That's that's a solid, a solid, uh, solid Saturday morning. If you had one wish, Gammy, what would it be? Oh my goodness, a tropical villa, a big house. I want to be rich. I want to buy my own island. I want to buy my own theme park. I want to eat only five star meals. There are three pages of things that I can I can pick. I wish I had known. The bottom screen was going to show something like this. What am I going to pick? What am I going to pick? I can pick money. I can pick happiness. Or I can pick stars. Fame. <laughs> uh, let's see. What am I going to pick? Uh... I want to be really attractive. <laughs> Um, I want to win a quiz show. I want to be a fishing pro. Let's go with that one. That's on, on par for today. Actually, the butterfly is in all of us in this chat right now. Oh, there you go. The butterfly was the true friends we made along the way. I like that. I like that. Calling it now, twist ending, butterfly is actually evil and guiding everything. That's bravely default. What a twist! I'm an old man, my keenly mottled invertebrate. My days of wishing are well behind me. Don't say that. You can't stop wishing, ever. This is great. I'm going to hear wishes from all sorts of people. I want to hear everybody's wishes. That's quite the ambitious task, my flappy, flappy flying friend. If you think you can help someone with a wish, you shouldn't hesitate to lend a hand. All right. Ah, so the, so the ellipses are going to be side quests. Never mind, not the question marks. You can only accept a maximum of 30 requests at any one time. You can change your mind and decline a request that you've accepted via the quests menu. Don't you want to know what my wish is? How rude of me, my talkative airborne insect. What would your wish be? It's a secret. Ha! That is a cruel trick. 
Let me recover from that, and perhaps I can come up with a wish of, uh, of my own for you. Please take this as a gift, my little piece of discursive floating animalia. Ambitious. Oh, there you go. The puns and the and the and the wordplay in this game is, is just great, and in chat as well. This old man is very verbose. He is. He is indeed. Is he just me? I mean, he could. We don't know what his wish is. We'll have to. We'll have to find out. Hope I didn't offend the old guy too much. I'm sure he'll get over it. I've got a few places on my agenda that I'm itching to visit. Want to join me? What do you say? Sure. Great. Let's get a move on. New quests added to butterflies' requests. All right. I want to do some side quests though. I don't want to progress the story too much just yet. So let's see if we can find some. Yeah. Hello there, friend. You know, I've got a hankering for a big egg. <laughs> you know what an egg is, right? Fries up in a pan, good with bacon. Look, I haven't got time to explain what an egg is. All you really need to know is that you can find a big egg in the grassy plains. Other places, too. If you get me one of those, I'll give you 500 dosh and my bronze dagger. Jeez, okay. People around here are into making requests. Fetch this, fight that. Never a dull moment. It's your prerogative, of course. You don't have to take on a request if you don't feel like it. Luckily, you can see all the requests you've taken in the quests menu. Cool. I wanted to know what an egg is, though. Uh, same. I wanted to know what his description of an egg was going to be. Maybe Timmy will tell us. Do you know anything about bugs? You know, there's loads of bugs in Riveria. There's butterflies and grasshoppers. And, and... Oh, I know. I'll tell you lots more about bugs if you can oh get me... You're goddamn right I am. Thank you, John. Good morning, John. How you doing? Are you home yet? Y or N? An egg is the thing that came first. Good point. Good point. An egg is like a leg, but it's a ball. That's an odd, oddly accurate description of an egg, yeah. Chillin' and Yeg still? Are you in the airport? Like, have you begun your... What, uh, your trip home? Uh, sure. I'll do it for the money. I don't really know what benefit the apples are gonna give us, but that's fine. You're, like, secretly a genius? I I'm starting to believe it. I'm starting to believe it. Now, I don't know where to, where the grasslands are. To the, to the right, maybe? This is just this one place. There's, like, so many other, the overworld gets much bigger once you leave this first castle area, from what I remember. It's a thing that came first, unless it didn't. Oh, that's a good point. Fair, very fair. Hello there, Paul. I bought some of my beloved can pancakes for a little snacklet, but I totally forgot to buy any syrup. Would you get me some grassland honey? Four pots should do the trick. 200 dosh? Sure. Pancake Paul. Heck yeah. We'll help him out. Nope, I go watch a football game in a few hours. It's a red eye. It's only 8.30 a.m. Oh, okay, dang. Red eye flight first thing in the morning. Off to off to home. This is where the woodcutter lives, from what I remember. The woodcutter and the carpenter, I'm pretty sure. Woodcutter lives here. Archery is right here. So this is where I played my first game. First time I played around, I was an archer. So this is where my master lives. Oh, Hello. Monica? Only Monica? Oh, no. Okay, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> you freak me out now all of a sudden. Uh, I want to go to the grasslands. Maybe south? Or perhaps I could just leave. 
We came down here to go fishing earlier. There's honey here, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I think that's the four we need now, actually. Catch a magic carp? I'd love to. Just get as much spring water as we can. Hell yeah. Here, let's see what we can catch. Let's see what we got. It's nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing big. Gimme. Okay. Regular average fish. Nothing crazy. Bit of experience, though, on top of that. Maybe we should progress the story a little bit more. Then Maybe we can't leave the castle just yet. Shiny Magikarp. Golden. Golden. John, do you remember myself, you, and John were out at Dairy Queen, I think it was? We were, we were meeting up to discuss something. I think it was Sci-Fi in the Rock or something like that. I can't remember what it was. But, um... We were you you were you checked Pokemon Go and you just so happened to catch a shiny Magikarp then and there and that was part of the very first uh, event that Pokemon Go was throwing and that was the first shiny that they introduced. Do you remember that? That was crazy. Seems like so long ago as well. Uh, okay. What's a guild office shop till we drop? Time for adventure. That was before Shiny was all the rage, exactly. That was the first Shiny ad added to the game. That was crazy. Alright, let's just let's pick up some more side quests. How about a bit of egg gathering? We're fresh out, my beloved Flapjack. Needs them for a new recipe. Okay, give me ten baskets. Chicken eggs. Sure. Cool. Made for good candy? Oh, God. Did you crush him up? Oh, no. Oh, this is one of the houses you can buy. A mansion property. Wow. Okay, that's got to be expensive. It's cool that there are different... Um, different houses that you can unlock and stuff, though. Fish, fresh fish. I've got some. How many do I have? Oh, I've got seven. Oh my god, buy them all. Take them all from me, please. That cash rolling in, though. Ooh. Nah, we'll sell it. It's fine. We've got two bags of chicken eggs. Okay, that should be fine. He evolved, then you made him candy? Nice, okay. <laughs> we all become candy eventually. Ooh, ah! Oh, we've got more mail. What's in here? Get presents through passwords. You can now use passwords at the post office. If you happen to know any, be sure to drop by. Okay. Promotional codes and stuff like that from Nintendo Power. Uh, which, this was the guild office, right? Hey there, Gammy. Everything set with your life? Since you're here, let me give you the full tour. We provide many services you may find useful later on. Well, that plant in the background there. As you develop your life, you'll... Whoa! Don't move! Looks like we got a pest problem here. I've got a bug swatter here. One second. Don't you dare swat me. Why would I swat you? I'm gonna swat that bug. <laughs> Wait. Was it you who said that, Gammy? 
I'm not a bug. Open your eyes. I'm a butterfly. Oh, so you are. A talking butterfly? That's a first. Not much surprises me these days, but this one this is one for the books. Your voice sounds kind of familiar, though. Yeah, you might have heard me shouting earlier. Gemi saved me, my wings from some ruffians. Those ruffians were making the ruckus. I don't know a ruckus making ruffian from a rucksack of a truffle. Oh my good lord. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> I don't know a ruckus making ruffian from a rucksack of truffle muffins, but I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> what a sentence. So we have Gammy here to thank for the fact that you weren't turned into a brooch, eh? Yes, I'm a hero. Uh, back to the tour. You might find this interesting too, Butterfly. If you ever want to try out a different life, just come talk to me. Variety is the spice of life, you know. Over there is the bounty clerk. Bounties. A bounty can be secured by accomplishing difficult tasks like getting special pieces of ore or wood, catching a special fish, or beating a boss enemy, which are noted with a crown. Claim your bounty by approaching it and pressing A. Drag it back with you to cash it in. You can only carry three bounties at once. Be sure to protect them well. Bounties can be exchanged for Dosh with any bounty clerk around the world. Sometimes you might get a special item thrown in there, too. And if you ever reel in a fish bounty, you can talk to Lionel Lips on the desk here. He'll make you a nice trophy. You can mount on your wall fishing trophies made by a plant. In the back, there are communications counters. I call them our com counts, but no one else does. <laughs> on the left there, you can get yourself all registered for Street Pass. Highly recommended. Try a multiplayer mode with other players, highly recommended. Once you're set up there, you'll use ally mode, snapshots, and online multiplayer. All of which are, of course, highly recommended. If you need any more info, just ask at the counters. Which life would best suit a butterfly? Uh, wood cutting? A sugar water cutter. Is there really a life like that? No. <laughs> no. I couldn't be a butterfly any more than you could be a woodcutter. Life's just unfair like that. Anyway, Gammy, see if you can make some good use of that of us here at the guild office. I can't find that swatter, but maybe I can give you something else. Here we go. The best pesticide around. Give it a try when you feel the need. Oh. Oh. I couldn't find my fly swatter, but here, have three explosives. That'll do. Are you sure this is pesticide? I'm not going to argue with a butterfly. This stuff right here will make short work of any bees or sassy insects you run into in grassy plains. Sorry, what kind of insects? We got a... Uh, that should be it, unless you got any questions. If you open up your map, you can return here anytime. That should come in handy. Best of luck to your new life. Make the most out of it. Sassy. <laughs> All right. Ally mode and snapshots will be available once you talk to an ally clerk in the middle desk. Speak to, yeah, we're not doing any online stuff. That's fine. It's all good. Sassy insects? How about sassy mustards? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those are my favorite kind. Um, I'd love to check out Castile General Goods in the square. Okay, we'll go there next. Where's that, do we think? Over here? Nope, Fashion Boutique. We do want to go there, because I do want to get some fashion. Goodwood? This guy's name is Goodwood? Welcome to my furniture shop. Take a deep breath and enjoy the smell of freshly sawed wood. Mmm. Okay, uh, calm down there, pal. Alright. Looks like there's some decent amount of furniture to collect and stuff, too. A little teddy bear. Anything else I can help you with? Not right now. That's fine. Just having a look. Looking for the general store. That's the guild office. Ah, this must be it over here. Yeah. Welcome to Castile General Goods. We don't just sell the goods. We sell the greats. 
Wow, that's a good line. How can I help you? Look at all these stuffed toys. You've got a little bit of everything here. That's what I thought until just now. We sure don't have any talking butterflies, I can tell you that. But feel, feel free to browse our wares at your leisure. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions. Do you specialize in anything particular? We deal in all type of consumable items and tools, but our best seller is definitely the HP potion. It restores some of your HP when you need it. Even the fussiest kids love it. It's really a must-have. Yeah, instant healing juice. Who wouldn't want that? Sure, if that's okay with you, I'll have some. I'll do a taste test. That really is delicious. We aim to please, we aim... We aim to please, we aim to please. We've also got a nice SP potion you might be interested in. Can't, can't be without one these days. So it does it does slowly regen over time, but having some potions would be, would be pretty solid. Can I start, try some of that too? I mean, sure, I, I suppose. Why not? Great. Thank you for your hospitality. Just giving me a bunch of items. Thank you. It's really, really musty. It kind of tastes like feet. <laughs> Way to keep it classy, butterfly. I like to think of it as having more of an earthy tone. I mean, it's not for everyone, but I did give you that for free, you know. Honestly, if I ever need to recover my SP, I prefer to just drink some juice or something rather than wait. I'd prefer juice as well. <laughs> well, I ain't got any for you, but you might want to take a look at the life cure here. If you ever run out of HP, use one of these and you'll get right back on your feet in the same spot that you fell. Oh! Really valuable. It's on the pricey side, but definitely worth the dosh. I suppose you want to try this one, too. I'll warn you, though. This one is uh, an acquired taste. I like acquiring things. Go ahead and hit me with a little splash. Go ahead and take one. My treat. Please take some samples with you. I hope they'll come in handy. Doo -doo -doo. Nice. Three health potions, three SP potions. Nice. And are we going to get a... a, 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 a... A no-death potion? Life cure? Oh, I love that bottle. Look at that. Classic RPG shit right here. I love it. Don't be a stranger here. Sometimes we get special items for folks who are full of bliss. Sometimes we don't. But sometimes we do. So make sure you pay me a visit. If you happen to be feeling especially blissful. Thanks for the patronage. Well, for the visit at least. But do come again. done do, 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 do. cool where was the last place we needed to look uh, if you follow the road south from Castile you become you come to the east grassy plains let's explore that area be careful though I've heard there are monsters about okay road south okay th I was so I was right it was south if I just stopped to look, I would have found that out sooner. This guy's name is Helmet. That wasn't really a yawn. It was more of a mouth stretch. Honestly, I'm not sleepy. But just in case, maybe you could bring me three sleep antidotes for 700 dosh? I'll keep my eye out. He's uh, sleeping on the job here. Can't wait to see how the combat is going to work as a fisherman. I'm assuming we're just going to use a dagger. Okay, is this... Is this how we get out? Was Has this been blocked off before or no? Oh, we just didn't go over this way. Damn. Must have just totally missed it. Another cutscene. I'm gonna eat some goldfish while this plays. Enjoy.
I believe that's what's known as a nap dragon. One of the strongest, if not the strongest enemy in the game. There's like an achievement lock behind killing one, I think. The East Grassy Plains, eh? Pretty creative name. These plains look kind of interesting. That's what they should have named this place. The East Grassy Kind of Interestings. They'd get a lot more buzz that way. <laughs> Let's go see what that paladin knows about the monsters in this area. He's asleep too. I thought only horses do how to sleep standing up. Excuse me. Sir? Hey there, horse sleeper. Nothing to report, sir. Wait, you're not Captain Mustang. Sorry. Who? Captain Mustang. Formerly a colonel by any chance. Where's your mustache? What's going on here? I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the grassy plains here. How are you talking? Your mouth isn't moving. Do you even have a mouth? Or are you doing this with your mind? Am I hearing your thoughts? Get out of my head! This one seems a bit overworked or high strung or something. Maybe we'd better get off. Better, better go off on our own. Don't go! Sorry. I'm tired. I just need a moment. <clears throat> Welcome to the East Grassy Plains. Can I help you? Roy got demoted, I guess. I guess so. Poor Roy. He's trying his hardest. Uh, let me give you a brief introduction to the one of uh, to one of Riveria's most sacred natural areas. Press A in the field to ready your weapon. Press X or A again in this stance to attack. Press B to put away your weapon. When surrounded by enemies, press Y to switch your focus between different enemies. Holding down B while moving in any direction to dash. Move in any direction to sneak. Okay, hold down B while moving to dash. Or hold down B to crouch and then move to... Okay, so you can... Yeah. Flowers, insects, etc. are gathered in the field. Approach an item and press A to gather it. Some gather roll items can restore XP and SP. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I did it. I told you everything I know. I just need to sleep now. Is there also a Hughes in this game as well? That's kind of cool. Thank you for the hydrate, Advil. Greymon, thank you, uh, thanks for watching, by the way. You must be a, a fan of this game, yeah? You seem to know quite a bit about it, which is which is always cool. I, uh, like I said, I played this years and years and years ago when it first came out, but not since. So it's been really fun to revisit it. And it's a game that I've wanted to revisit for a really long time now. Stoked for the new one. We got some heal weed. Five of them, indeed. Are you sure you don't want it? Just take it. I don't have the energy to argue. I can always get more if I need it. I'm pretty much stuck here. It's not like I can go anywhere else or do anything else. Not a bad gig, though. It's peaceful around here. None of the monsters are all that mean. It's a great place for beginners to get experience, be it in gathering materials or in battle. But things get intense after dark. The aggressive monsters come out, and people sleep. Any questions? So, Okay, he's, he's, he's asleep. Are there any monsters that might eat butterflies out there? Yes, I think they all would, given the chance. <laughs> Good. Nice. You probably shouldn't have said that. Is that all? Because if you're done, I could just... I'm sorry about that fish, sir. Oh, you're still here. Can't you just let me nap? That reminds me. Don't attack the nap dragon. Don't ask me why. Just don't. We don't bother it, and it doesn't bother us. That's the deal. Once you're feeling a little more confident, you can head up to Mount Snow Peak. If you ever want to return to Castile, just let me know, and I can escort you there. That's definitely everything. Now, please, just for the love of Riveria, let me sleep. Me at work every day. Boom, do 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 do. Okay, I'm glad we found our way out of the castle. I am ready to do some exploring. Okay, so if we if we're moving, we hold B, we run. If we hold B first and then move, we can do a bit of a sneak. We can press. Oh, and that uses energy when we sneak. Okay. And does running use energy? Yep. Good to know. Time to go bother the nap dragon. I never have. I never have. I don't know. Do we bother the nap dragon? What do you guys think? 
It's the one thing the guy told us not to do, was bother the Napdragon. Maybe we'll get a pole going? Ah! My weapon! Get fisted, sheep! Ow! You will absolutely die, and I will be very entertained. Yeah, I remember it being like the hardest hardest enemy in the game or something, right? So. I keep thinking there's more than one attack, but there's not right now. I don't have any other skills unlocked. We got some mutton, though. It's probably good for... Uh... Cooking. Oh! Royal Grasshopper. What are our quests right now? Uh, other requests. Bug Boy. He wanted... Oh, he wanted one Royal Grasshopper, which I just found. Very cool. Sleep antidotes, eggs we need to keep an eye out for. A big egg we need to keep an eye out for. And four things of honey, which I thought we had already. Uh, what does honey look like? Oh, we've got three honey. We need one more. Chrissy, wake up! Okay, let's. I guess we're gonna go bother the nap dragon. We're gonna see what happens. The poll is complete. A, a, two votes. Two two people are 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 pestering the nap dragon. Uh. Butterfly? How do I get up there? Can I get up there to bother him yet? I must be able to. He wouldn't have told me not to otherwise. Ooh, they look a bit scary though. Ah, big egg! Wasps! Ah! I want that egg! Oh, we got killed! I was just about to stop and use a potion. Crap, okay. We're gonna have- I'm using the life cure now. I don't care. We're about to die anyway. To a nap dragon, so. I like the jump back attack. That's cool. Okay, I need to figure out how to- heal quickly. Don't know how to heal yet. I don't know how to heal yet. <laughs> I'm running away. I'm running away. Uh. I guess I need to put something in my heal pouch. What are we going to use? HP potions. There we go. Okay, I can have my items on hand at any time. Naruto run to safety? Absolutely. That is the way. Oh. Get fisted. Bees. Yeah, we got the big egg. Okay, cool. Because I think that's the quest that gives us a new dagger, right? Big egg for Gramps? I think so. So even though we just got here, let's immediately go back to the castle and hand in that quest so we can get ourselves a new weapon. Well, I, we'll go bother the Nap Dragon first, I guess. See if I can make it up there. Hello, sheepies. Just gonna ignore these guys for now. Just coming through. Pardon me. P par pardon me. Oh god. Pardon me. Just coming through. Just coming through. 
Large egg. My brother and I say it back and forth when we play Stardew. Nice, nice, nice. Stardew's a good time as well. We'll be, uh... I, I might be playing alone. I'm not sure, but tomorrow morning we'll be playing some Stardew. Nap dragon. Are we ready? Are we sure we want to do this? The guard did specifically say, do not bother the nap dragon. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Okay, well, this, this nap dragon is now officially named Chrissy, right? Ooh. Oh, he's mad. He's got treasure, though. We're doing zero damage. Oh, no. Can I get that treasure, though, I wonder? Let's go. Got my life cure back. Oh. Okay. I think I think we'll just leave, yeah? We've bothered him. We're leaving. We out. Thank you for the life cure. Thank you for the life cure. Goodbye. Fuck him up. You can take him. I know, right? Listen. If that was saying one instead of zero, I would I would give it a go. I'd give it a go. But literally doing no damage? Nah. We got fishing to do. We got fishing to do. Believe in the heart of the cards. I don't think the cards will do much for us here. Good morning, Stuve. How many fish will be caught today? All of them. All of the fish will be caught today. Sheep fleece. Cool. So many things to collect and pick up. That's a lot of fish, probably. I hope so. I hope it's a lot of fish. There was quite a few fish yesterday, so hopefully today's fish count will be somewhat similar. You know what? Let's just add one to it now. One time my brother asked how I was better than him at Mario Kart, and I responded that I believe in the heart of the cars. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I believe in the heart of the cars. Freaking love some Mario Kart, too. Good, good choice, good choice. Come to me, my fish. Blip -a -doodle -a -doo. There were talks yesterday of setting up a counter to see just how many fish got caught throughout this entire subathon. But to have to retroactively go back and look at how many fish were caught yesterday and then to get someone to set up a timer and having someone have to activate the timer every time I catch a fish, like, it's that's just too much work. It's, it would get so annoying. The chat would just be filled with commands. So. We'll just fantasize about what that number could be. How many possible fish there could be. It would have been cool to have, like, a total, but... Yeah, a button press on a Steam Deck that wasn't so, like, chat-inclusive inc or uh, invasive and stuff like that? Yeah, probably. Next year. Next year, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. Here's your big egg. How's your day going, Stoof? What are you up to today? Enjoying your Saturday? Bronze Dagger. An upgrade, surely. Gramps got a hankering, but it's taken care of now. And he gave us a weapon. And that is how requests work. We make the request, you fill it. Then you get your just rewards. Some folks could even ask you to make weapons or furniture, furniture for them. You might not have the necessary life skills when they ask you, but you can always learn them. You know, by taking on a new life, and then another new life, and then another. Now, if you find yourself drowning in requests, you can always cancel some of them. 
Just go into other requests in the quests menu. No one will hold it against you. One last thing. If someone asks you for an item, you can always take him or her a quality, a higher quality version of it. That's all I've got to say. Okay, nice. Just woke up bedridden today. Very thankful for Advil. Oh my goodness. I'm thankful for Advil too, but in a different way. Uh, I hope you feel better, uh, Stoof. That sucks. I hope the Advil is, is doing its work. Um, so yeah, I was right. So Dex is going to be our dagger skills, and it seems fo uh, Focus is going to be our fishing skills. So we're going to put points into Focus and Dex, I think. Thankful for Advil and their namesake, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the different types of Advils. We we big fans. Oh my God! There's an even bigger bag. Two hundred items. Okay. Um, what now? Uh, well, we will change our gear. We don't have a shield. Uh, we do have a charm. I forgot we got the charm. What does that do? Gives us defense and magic defense. Don't see why not. The Advil is performing adequately. Thanks be the Jesus. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I always hate to hear that when people are bedridden. It's never a good time. Let's go check out the fashion store. This is what we've all been waiting for. What kind of clothes you got? We've got vibrant red shirts so you can't spill ketchup on yourself with impunity. Oh, and mustard yellow shirts as well, if mustard's more your kind of condiment. We got a... uh, let's see what you got. Highland top, artisan's apron, skirts, slacks, a kilt. Puffy shorts, a beret, gloves, capes, glasses. Oh my goodness. And then there's... Okay, you can sort by all our armor. Very nice. Uh, this game is called Fantasy Life. Um, it's it's incredible. It came out for the 3DS quite a while ago. Highly worth looking into. There's a new one coming out for the Switch later on this year. Um... So I figured we'd give it a go. You can play as a fisherman. You can play through an entire RPG, but as a fisherman instead of, like, a warrior. Or, you know, a paladin. You can be a fisherman instead. And we get to talk to cats. I have a, I have a request for you, friend. This kitty wants lots and lots of them. Can you get five crucians for, for me? I want to fill my furry belly with fish. I'll give you five yellow butterflies and 200 dosh for your troubles. How does this cat have $200? Don't disappoint this kitty now. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. It's getting late in the day. We, we might want to sleep soon. Where can I fish? Not here. Quests for cats. Sold. Exactly, yeah. It seems like the uh, the fisherman class depends on cats a lot in this game, too. Just to tell them where all the fishing holes and stuff are. Which is really cool. That's a good way to do it. Just go talk to the cat. He'll tell you where all the good fish are. Nice. Um, I guess we'll go back to the standard fishing hole that we were at before. Because we knew we were getting crucians there, so... Should just be over this way. Goody, goody, goody morning. Hello, Terry. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Went the wrong way. A little bit more south. Do a quick save while we're here as well. What are we up to today? We are uh, we are on day two of the fishathon. Uh, every sub adds thirty minutes to the timer. 
We're currently at 13 hours and 30 minutes left, so we're, we're, we're going right into tomorrow, at the very least, so far. We're checking out Fantasy Life. We're playing as a fisherman. And it's been good so far. It's been good so far. We, we, we played Fishing, fishing World yesterday. Um, we played Luna's Fishing Garden yesterday. We played Insane Aquarium yesterday. We played Dave the Diver yesterday. We played Final Fantasy XIV yesterday. We did so much gosh darn fishing. It was the best. Um, we're playing some of this today. Then we're going to jump into a little bit of Dredge. Then we're going to be jumping into some Sea of Thieves. And then probably some more Dave the Diver again later on today as well. Tomorrow on the docket, we've got some Stardew Valley fishing. We've got some Animal Crossing fishing. And then we might even have a little bit of Zelda. A little bit of Zelda fishing to, to end it all off on. There was an old fishing game on your Dreamcast that your uncle used to play all the time. Oh, really? On the Dreamcast? I wonder what it was. Was it like base pro fishing or something? Which Zelda? You'll have to find out. You have to find out. You'll have to find out. It was base bass pro fishing or whatever. Not semen, I hope. Is there a Zelda game called semen? What? <laughs> I also hope not. I also hope not. Oh, it's a Dreamcast game. That sounds familiar. Isn't that like, um... Like little sea monkeys thing? The one with the human face. I, I feel like I know I know it, but I can't quite picture it. But I think, yeah. Leonard Nimoy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So weird. What a weird thing that exists. Another fish. All right. How many is that? Uh, I wish it told me how many we had. Talk to the rooftop kitty to complete. Oh, we do. Okay, so we do have enough. It doesn't tell you how many you have. It tells you, yes, you've done this quest. It's finished. So let's go back up. It used a voice controller as well. That's insane. That's so crazy. One of the Sega fishing games uh, is coming out just after, like, I think sometime this week. And you could sign up for a newsletter or something like that and then get a free copy of it. So I did it. I think it's Bass Pro Fishing. Sega's Bass Pro Fishing. Um, so I did that. I signed up for it. <laughs> so why not? One little fishy, two little fishies, three, four, I mean four, five. Here you go, cat. Here's your fish. Here are five yellow butterflies and 200 dash. It's a rooftop kitty, exactly. The cats tell us where all the good fish are. Boom, another side quest done. Next time I'll give you a sparkly butterfly. It speaks human. No, really. Well, that I've already owned that. I already own that butterfly, so it's fine. Cat on a hot tin roof. I got your grasshopper as well, Timmy. Give me my dash. Give me my money. Caterpillars grow into butterflies. Cool, huh? Actually, butterflies kind of look like caterpillars, only with wings. True. Timmy Turner? Oh. I wonder what he's doing here. Asking me for bugs. He could just wish for them. He could just wish for them. He doesn't need me to go get him bugs. I want a really big caterpillar. The kind you find in the, in the grassy plains. Well, good luck. I'm not getting you one. Um, okay, let's go back to the grassy plains, though. 
because we didn't really look around. We we ran away from the Snapdragon, got our new sword, and then kind of left. But I do want to I want to explore a little bit more, see if there's any new fish to be had. It's this way. I saw a huge caterpillar the other day. I straight up thought it was a caterpie. Oh my god, massive! There are some big lads when it comes to cater caterpillars. There are some big lads. I've I've definitely seen some big guys before. And green he was. Oh, big fat green caterpillar. Oh, big boy. Big handsome boy. I love caterpillars. They're adorable. I could watch caterpillars just inch around all over the place. I love them. Whether they're big or small, it doesn't matter. Adorable. Adorable little guys. He was very hungry. He was a very hungry caterpillar indeed. Uh, Alright, fish. Okay, there's a section here for mining. There's some enemies up on this tree. Uh, this this hill here. Should we do a murder? Carroties. Sentient carrots. Kill your greens, everybody. What are these guys? Caterpillars! Gotta do a murder. <laughs> Ow. The only ones I'll watch? He was crawling in my tent, so he wasn't munching much. He wasn't very hungry then, though. He was taking a break. It was rest time. I heard murder and was immediately in agreement. Yes, we've got to do a bit of a murder. Those guys look like they're a bit, a bit of a hard ticket. Ah, oh, there's a pond over here. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Any fibs? Is that another nap dragon? Are you still mad at me? Okay, we're fine. Ah, fish. Let's do it. I'd ponder about that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What we get? Something new? Nope. Grasshopper, though. Common grasshopper. Common grasshopper. What's hidden over here? Oh! Oh! It's spooky! Oh, he's tough. Alright, we might be able to do it, though. Let's try. Sorry, spooky. Oh, I'm doing zeros again, though. Nobody's awake in your house. Oh my goodness, you gotta be quiet. Be sleepy quiet. They're asleep still? Oh my god, that's amazing. Busy, busy night, late night, or it's just a good day to sleep in all the same. We did it. Oh, that was a bounty. Hell yeah. Alright, we'll take that. And a potion. Oh, Gene works overnight. So, okay, I didn't know that. You and Dom were up late. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sleepy Dom. Sleepy Dom. I don't, um, I don't miss working overnights. I was never a fan. Just screwed up my whole schedule. A stun antidote. Oh, it's a big carrot. All right, let's leave him alone. Alone most nights. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that sucks. But I mean, it's it's good to have a job, right? So it's 
good to have a job, but it all, it does it does suck when you've got to be away from everybody all the time. Sleeping during the day, working during the night. You don't care at all. <laughs> On fire. On fire with the puns. This area is big. I didn't realize. Let's go pass in this bounty. And probably go to sleep. In, in the video game. We'll probably wrap things up here now with Fantasy Life, actually. We'll probably wrap things up here now and take a little break. And uh, maybe we'll jump into some dredge for a little bit. I don't have much planned for dredge. I just wanted to feature it somewhere because it's such a neat little game. Um, guild offices up this way. Hey, I've got this bounty. Good evening. Welcome to the guild office. If you're looking to cash in a bounty, you're in the right spot. That's a nice spooky you've got there. Good job. I can pay you 250 dosh for it. Does that work for you? Hell yeah. Please come back again soon. There's something inside. Here you go. Magic upgrade stone. That seems useful and good, but I don't know what it does. Just hold on to that for now. We'll just hold on to that for now. And we'll go to bed. I don't think there's any sleeping mechanics in this, aside from it just resetting the time. But it's good to go to sleep. Oh, our bliss as well. Yeah, forgot. Bliss check. Oh, nice. We got another level up. Okay. All right, we got another level, so that's good. We can choose our bliss bonus. What are we gonna go for? I don't. I don't think we need the bigger bag just yet. We haven't had any trouble with that yet. Same with storage. Um, I don't really care about having the audio. That's fine. I don't want that one. Having different hair is cool, but not necessary. I think I'm gonna go horse, honestly, just to speed up our traveling. If you get a horse riding permit, you can rent a horse from the Castile Stables. Traveling will be a lot faster. Cammy, do you have a sec to chat? Yes. Good choice. The grassy plains are huge, aren't they? So wide and sweeping. Majestic, even. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, can you believe it? I can't believe the guildmaster would do something like... Oh, sorry. Once I get going, I guess it'd be kind of hard to stop sometimes. I think it would be cool to see a massive meteor shower. <coughs> I mean, yeah. Is that what we're doing? Meteors? Father, can you hear me? I'm doing fine down here, Father. I hope you're not too worried about me. Getting here was a little rough, I've got to say. To be honest, I was feeling a little down at first. I came here to Castile, and for a while, I found this curious fountain, and I spent hours staring at the water. I did a lot of wandering around. But don't worry, I'm right back on track now. It's all because I managed to find myself a friend, a real friend. I think things are going to go much more smoothly from here on out now that I have a partner by my side. What's that all about? What is happening? Ah! There's a giant glowing gem in our roof. Joris, how's it going, my friend? No shot. I got a Pokemon Masters ad for your stream. It's meant to go. It's meant to be. Let's go next year. Pokemon Championships? That's cool. I, I wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> I would stand a chance. Oh, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, 
I'm doing a big yawn. Ah, oh, goodness me. Speaking of Pokemon, we will be uh, we'll be playing some Pokemon Go on stream tomorrow during Community Day, which is going to be fun. I've never streamed Pokemon Go before. You got four shinies yesterday, so you're chilling. Oh my god, you're set. You're set. I got the one when the event started, and then that's that's the only one I've got so far. But I've been I streamed all day yesterday and uh, streaming all day again today, so I haven't really had time to to go out. I'll have to go out Monday and and really do a push. What do you think that thing is? According to my calculations, it should have landed right around here. Aha! I am unsurprised yet, nonetheless pleased to see I was correct. That is one big stone. I'll be lurking while I Val, but I've always wanted to watch her play this game, so I'll keep a tab open on the third monitor. Thank you. I'm actually about to finish up on this game, actually. We're going to move on to a different fishing game. But uh, I, I appreciate the lurk all the same, my dude. I hope Valorant goes well. Pop those heads, my friend. Click on those heads. Make them pop. Get the confetti going. It may be hot. It may be cold. We don't know what it is, but we want... But we need... We know that you need to get up and go get it. Yeah, please, please get that giant glowing purple rock out of my house. Yes, I live here. I titter. I titter with glee to imagine if an actual doomstone were to... It's a doomstone? Professor Hughes. There you go. Look, Greymon, you were right. We've got a, we've got a Captain Mustang, and now we've got a Professor Hughes. Very cool. Starting over is giving me Steam achievements too. Love's a good achieve. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's satisfying. It's very satisfying. That's the one upside of, to buying on Steam is you usually get achievements. Don't go thinking that just because something crashed into your roof, it belongs to you. We don't live in that type of society. That doomstone will be studied for the good of all Riveria. So don't bother straining your little cerebrum over any of this. I'm sure you'll be looking forward to my findings. Good day. Okay. What a jerk. Gammy. What's going on here? Are you two all right? We got some bad news for you. Oh, goodness. Well, I don't really want to get into that just now. I'm trying to save and move on. Steam achievements. Yeah. When uh, when Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town first came out. Thank you so much for the follow, Satan Greymon. Appreciate it. When Harvest Moon Friends of, or Story of Seasons, sorry, Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, the remake came out. I bought it for the Switch originally, and then really regretted it because they put it out on Steam afterwards. So I bought it a second time on Steam just so I could get Harvest Moon achievements. And then when Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life came out, I learned from my mistake and bought it on Steam first so I didn't have to buy it twice. <laughs> Uh, there might have been Doomstones in that game, too. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't really remember much from that one. That was a bit of a chill... of a chill sailing game. I didn't really retain much. Alright, we've got a save file here. I think we're good to move on. We will revisit Fantasy Life. We might we might go through this uh, on Saturdays um, as, like, a little, little thing. I don't know. We might never revisit it again. What I do want to look at, though, is, very quickly, I got to bounce like a ball. Thank you so much, my friend, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your tips and advice and your jokes. Thanks for hanging out, and thank you for the follow. Um, Nintendo doesn't really seem to be the kind of company that wants to force people to do things in their game. They just kind of want people to explore their games. So I, I don't know. Some, some, some Nintendo games have achievement-style things. I'd like it if they had them, though. It'd be cool. Uh, I want to watch the trailer for the new Fantasy Life. The girl, the girl who steals time. Mm -hmm. There's a trailer five months ago. There's a new trailer three minutes long. They also haven't really gotten into microtransactions. Let's hope they keep it that way. I mean, I feel like I don't. I'd like to. I'd like to hope. And, and assume that we won't get Nintendo games with achievements and uh, microtransactions. That's kind of what they're doing with their mobile games. Like the Mario Kart World Tour, 
Mario Jump or whatever that one was, Mario Run, Magikarp Jump, all the Pokemon ones. Like there, those. That's where all the microtransaction microtransactions belong. Keep them in the mobile games. Don't put them in. You know, Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey two comes out. I don't want to have to buy costumes for Mario. You know what I mean? Nah, <laughs> nah, don't want that. So I agree. I hope they keep it that way. Ten years behind everyone else when it comes to the gaming ecosystem. No, you're right. You're right. Nintendo's a little bit delayed sometimes. They're a bit old school. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, I've muted the website. Let's watch this again. Whoa! Now that we've got a... Oh! I'm going to eat some goldfish while we watch this. ひとびとは木を切ったり、料理を作ったり、モンスターと戦ったり。みんな生き生きしてます。おや、ファンタジールに朝が来たようです。それではもう一つのライフを始めましょう。Looks similar enough. There's a nap dragon in the back. Okay. Character customization. Looks a bit more in-depth this time around. The graphics are so nice. It's like what we were just playing, but like so much better. Okay. Look at all those classes. Look! Fisherman! We can be a fisherman again. Two that need to be unlocked as well. Paladin, warrior, archer, wizard, miner, woodcutter, fisherman, cook, I imagine. Um, carpenter, woodcutter. Oh, no. Carpenter. This is woodcutter. What's this? There's the tailor, and then maybe an alchemist. What could this be? What is that? Spending the next couple of hours while watching tidying up their Spotify liked playlist. Oh, nice. Okay. I am. Um, I don't usually like songs on Spotify, but that sounds like a like an interesting task to take on. It's nice to have everything organized the way you want. Oh my God! Multiplayer. The original Fantasy Life has multiplayer as well, but you can only do, like, little little quests together. I wonder if this is going to be more open-world multiplayer. Where you can, like, just join each other's worlds and work together. You got a Pokemon ad on your TV? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. That was Carpenter from the last game? Okay, so the hammer must be something different. Uh, uh, I guess maybe uh, Carpenter. No, you just said Carpenter. What's the hammer, then? Curious. I'm going to play the shit out of this game. I was really concerned that it was going to be really different from the original Fantasy Life, but this is looking more and more like just more of the same. Oh, Blacksmith. Yeah, good, good shout. Good shout. You can customize the whole island. I'm so stoked. Do you know how it, how long it's been since there was a level 5 game that came out that wasn't Yokai Watch? <laughs> I guess it was Nino Kuni 2. That's not too long ago. But still. Parties of 4, it looks like. 
I'm so excited. It still says 2023 as well, so I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be like a November, December release. So we're like... Soon. Soon. <laughs> 